Dear friends, dear colleagues, welcome back to the Mangano Digital Academy and welcome back to the essential of digital dentistry. In this short lecture, we will talk about implant support restoration in particular and in particular about individual hybrid abutment. In my dental clinic, we have chosen this option for the implant support restoration in all cases, not only in the arterial cases with highly aesthetic requirement, highly aesthetic needs, but also for the posterior. So for the treatment of posterior implants, even in the single implants, in all cases, we perform this kind of reconstruction or prosthetic reconstruction. So I will talk a little bit about this kind of reconstruction that is very predictable, very nice, uh, and help us to help the dental technician to design the final restoration at best um, in terms of uh, prosthetic emergence in terms of tissue handling i think is the best option uh, before to do it let's go back to the digital dental world let's go back to the digital dentistry we have also here a scan phase for the data acquisition in this case an intraoral scan with and without the implant scan body in order to transfer the, the position of the implant from the real world to the virtual world we need to transfer it predictably then the dental technician will perform the planning in a data elaboration data planning software in this case a dental cut software a prosthetic computer assisted design software like for example exocad the software that we are using in my clinic and after that, after the design of the individual hybrid abutment has been performed, the design of the provisional crown, the design of the final crown, then all these uh, pieces must be produced according to the state of the art. Uh, we produce our individual hybrid abutment in zirconia by milling using powerful milling unit, five axis milling unit. The same units we use for the fabrication of the, for the, the, the manufacture of the final crowns, usually monolithic zirconia crowns, in some cases uh, uh, monolithic bridges, translucent in zirconia, in some cases uh, with very high aesthetic demand, we can uh, use instead copings in zirconia or frame in zirconia that can be veneered by the dental technician on a model. Anyway, the model must be 3D printed in the case, so we use powerful 3D printer for that. Uh, we can use 3D printer also for printing the provisional restoration, but the provisional restoration in resin or PMMA can be uh, milled as well with the same five axis milled machine. So we have several options. In my dental clinic, I have all the digital tools. I have two 3D printer, one SLA printer, one DLP printer, and also I have several milling units. So we have several options. And when we have all this set of uh, files, we have all these pieces ready, we can go for the clinical application. So <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about this workflow for individual hybrid abutment in a very simple case. I will show how to design an individual hybrid abutment. It's something that is more related to the dental technician world, but also it is something that we need to consider as dentist as an option for our treatment, even in the posterior sites because it's uh, more beautiful, it's also more functional and it's absolutely feasible in all cases. How do we work in this case? Well, there's an intraoral scan, first appointment, and uh, then the dental technician for the prosthetic phase, the dental technician received the scan and designed the individual zirconia abutment and the temporary crown. Then the, the individual zirconia abutment must be, <coughs> of course, fabricated, milled and sintered and then uh, um, this individual abutment is cemented in zirconia extra orally on the selected titanium base in order to give the individual hybrid abutment and uh, also we need to 3d print our resin temporary crown we can also mill it is not important and there's the clinical application so the second appointment is there's the delivery of the final individual hybrid abutment that is the sum of uh, upper portion in zirconia and a lower portion inside the implant in, in titanium and also the delivery of the temporary crown and then there's a one month we can wait one month with the temporary crown and then there's the design of the final monolithic zirconia crown there's no need usually of a second scan we can eventually make a second scan if the, the soft tissues have undergone particularly strong modification given by the temporary but usually we don't use uh, um, a second uh, scan in our workflow the dental technician simply modify 
uh, the, 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 the design of the crown and the, 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 the cement gap of the final crown because different material and different cement gap. Eventually what we can do is to make a scan of the uh, temporary crown in position in order to give additional information to the dental technician to help him to model the final crown inside a functionalized area. Then we have the make of it, the milling and center of the final monolithic zirconia crown. We use translucent monolithic zirconia crown, very open, particularly for the posterior area. And the 3D printing of the model is optional, only in the case that we, we need to veneer on a model. So the dental technician needs to veneer on a model for particular aesthetic needs when we use a coping or a framework, but usually when we use a monolithic zirconia crown or monolithic brief, there's no need of a model, so we proceed model free. And that's the, the clinical application. So sometimes there's also a, a replica or try-in phase in order to check if everything works very well. Usually we don't do it for the implants, we do it mainly the replicas for the natural teeth in order to check the marginal adaptation, interprocessing a contact point, and occlusal points, occlusal contacts, we don't do it for the implant because with the implants everything is faster and more predictable. There's no need for a check of the margin adaptation of the gas because usually we have zero gap and we don't have any issues with that. So this is the intraoral scan from the very beginning of our prosthetic restoration. There's an implant in place already also integrated. We capture our scan before we remove the earring abutment and we capture the scan of the mucosal collar of the master model the master model and the antagonist and the bite for an emi arch we can simply scan the bite of the emi arch a couple of times and it's more than sufficient and then we place the scan body in position and then we scan the scan body a very useful trick is to use individual customized dealing abutment but if you don't have it you can use then a wider platform a dealing abutment with a wider platform in order not to have any issue when you place the implant scan body because placement of the implant scan body must be perfect the scan body must be screwed or in the case of this uh, implant system in this of this particular case must be positioned and inserted correctly in the position because a wrong position is a wrong uh, we, uh, means that we transfer a wrong position of the implant to the virtual world to the dental technician so it's a disaster so we need to check two three times the position sometimes after screwing it's possible also to make an intraoral and or a radiograph to check it. I don't use to do it, I check it manually, um, twice possibly, because I don't want to have any mistake. In this case we use a 3600 scanner, now we use a 3700 from Castrin Dental, but it's more or less the same, the principles are the same. So the implant scan body and then everything is transferred to the dental technician. The dental technician, as I told you, replaced the scan body mesh with the scan body library file. The scan body library file is coupled to a library, a complete library of T, T bases. We call it T bases. Uh, these are the bases for the modeling. <coughs> and then we can model, the, the dental technician can model on an individual abutment. The upper portion of the abutment is modeled for milling in zirconia. And it's a very important to careful model the whole individual abutment, particularly the upper and the lower portion. They have a lot of tools in this software, actually. They have a lot of tools in the in operators in order to model exactly as we want, individually, in order to fit the needs of that specific patient, in order to fit completely the needs aesthetically, functionally, and biologically of that patient. After the model um, uh, of the uh, upper portion of the abutment has been obtained, uh, as we can see here. We can check the spaces and we can model the, the crown, and in this case is the temporary crown. The dental technician can model the temporary crown on. The space, the seven gap is usually around uh, 0 0.1, so 100 micron in this case, because of the raising and PMMA, I prefer to have a wider cement gap in this case. And then there's the <coughs> possibility to check and to to control the modeling, the spaces, not only in a 3D, so not only three-dimensionally, but also two-dimensionally using a series of tools available in the computer-assisted design software. We can see here, for example, in transparency, the individual abutment 
under the crown, under the temporary crown, restored. So, and here the placement of the individual library department plus the printed temporary crown before the characterization and everything looks very well and the, the, the fit is perfect, the, the interproximal contact point, the occlusal contact are perfect, everything works very well, the temporary stays in position for around one month, the individual library department is uh, the, the definitive one, the final one, so uh, basically in, with this system that is screwless, a screwless implant abutment system um, similar to the Bicon system, this system is the Leone implant system, you don't need to screw it, you place in position, uh, there's a percussion hammer and it goes in position with the uh, conventional implant system, even conical with the screw, then you need to screw it perfectly and it stays there. You can use Teflon to uh, fill the gap uh, between the little hole for, for screwing and then you can um, temporarily cement your, your temporary crown with a cement used for the implants and then you can eventually check everything for the final monolithic the conion crown model if the dental technician needs a model technically we prefer to work without a model model free with all the implant uh, supported restoration if we work monolithic so if we work monolithic with monolithic crowns or monolithic bridge we avoid that we skip this step of the models because it saves time and also it saves money because you avoid to to print the model if needed, if uh, for example we are working with copying, so we are working with framework, then we need to print all the time the model and in this case of course we need to print it and there's no, no possibility to skip this phase uh, because the dental technician need to veneer over the copings, over the framework. Anyway, this is the rendering, the 3D rendering of the final monolithic zirconia crown. There's no need for another scan, usually the dental technician can use the previous scan and only modify a little bit the, the cement gap in order to reduce it to 40-50 micron inside the software. Of course, uh, there are a lot of tools operator in order to model, of course, the adaptation on the margin and, and everything, the area without cement, a lot of different parameters must be set according to the different material used, but the most important thing is that there's no need for a second scan. Eventually, we can capture a second scan only of the temporary functionalized in position in order to give the limit for the dental technician in order to uh, give more information, even more information than those given by the capture of the bite or the two bite captured on the side uh, for the occlusion because the occlusion is always a very delicate step for the intraoral scanner so it's much better to have more information. But after that, we can see we have all the information, the final crown that looks beautiful with the implant complex and everything, and the, the case is more, more or less finalized. We can deliver the final monolithic uh, zirconia crown, the adaptation is perfect, and after all, after even um, in the short time, of course, we can control with several uh, um, pictures and uh, the occlusion and everything looks perfect also after five years everything looks perfect we have in this case the five-year control the very nice thing with zirconia particularly is that the soft tissue love zirconia restoration and this is why in particular I love to use individual hybrid abutment in all cases also in the posterior I don't like uh, superstructure I don't like to have a crown like a superstructure that closes exactly on the, um, on the um, titanium base because uh, uh, it is more difficult with such superstructure to, to work well and to design well the, the, the emergence profile and I prefer to have zirconia below because the soft tissues love zirconia below particularly if the collar is, is uh, I mean thick and the tissues are thick and the implant is very deep it's very useful to have um, an individual hybrid abutment because we have zirconia below, we have zirconia on the abutment, we have zirconia on the crown and the soft tissue really loves zirconia and, the, and after years you can find a creeping effect with the tissues that are growing a little bit over the, 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 the crown and they close perfectly and it's an effect that is more difficult to see with the conventional metal ceramic crown but in all cases we have seen this beautiful effect with the monolithic zirconia crown. With the monolithic translucent zirconia crown, we have also solved the problem of the quality of the static quality, uh, having anyway a very good mechanical reliability. So what we are doing here is absolutely very satisfactory from the static, from the functional point of view, and from the perspective of the biology, because zirconia is an incredible material 
also biologically, also in biological terms. So thank you very much for your kind attention and consider also in your practice the possibility to use individual hybrid apartment instead of uh, screw with superstructure because the quality of uh, this workflow in my opinion is really high and need to be considered not only for the aesthetic areas but also for the posterior area. Thank you.